What's up, everybody? Just came on real quick. Um, wanted to share something with y'all that I noticed, and um, this is pertaining to the Super Bowl 2023. I got something in my braces, but whatever. So, I'm not really a sports type person, but I have children, they're teenagers, young adults. They wanted to come to the house with me and my husband and watch the Super Bowl. So I let them watch it or whatever. We sat there and of course, you know, we seen the Rihanna performance and all that other stuff, which we know straight off the rip from when she started, how demonic her eyes looked. I don't care what nobody said, but you, that that energy was coming off of her, right? Because we, we know that these entities need a body to function off of, right? So she was, you know, the piercing stare. In the beginning, set it off for me. I was like, all right, we already know what that's about, whatever, whatever. Then after the game, here, here's what I want to bring your attention to. The energy surrounding the game was just mad uncomfortable after. Because I had my oldest son there, and apparently he bet somebody. And he was there like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Even though he's not really a fan of neither one of the teams, his team didn't make it, which his team is the Giants. But as being from New York, his team didn't make it. But, of course, he bet. And so he wanted the team that he bet for to win. You know what I'm saying? So he don't lose no money, naturally, normally. So my girls, they were voting for the Eagles, right? Because where we live, you know, our state, per se, doesn't have a team. So the next state over would be the Eagles. So they wanted the Eagles, especially mainly because... They didn't want to have to go to school tomorrow because they figured school would be closed. The teachers would be out, whatever, whatever. So I'm noticing after the game, my girls and my sons, they going at it. They dissing each other. They grind, what they call grinding each other up and all this. So they're just, you know, talking. They getting loud. They arguing. Da, 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 da. And I was like, yo, I had to step in and tell them to shut up because they was pissing me off. Because now they started coming at each other. They getting personal, hurting each other's feelings. And I'm like sitting there like, what spirit is this? What spirit is this? What spirit is this? Then I said, hmm. All right, well, if I'm standing here regulating and I'm calling it out for what it is and I'm telling everybody to shut up, the game is over, go to bed, I don't want to hear nothing else. Could you imagine what was going on outside? Um, I just felt like the energy was just real crazy. And I was like, could you imagine people that bet that lost money or people that was just outside getting drunk, drinking? Because nobody was really, nobody was drinking in my house or doing anything. So we was just there chilling. Wasn't drinking, having alcohol. They had food and stuff. But my, my girls, they don't drink. You know what I'm saying? And everybody was just sitting there chilling. And then at the end, the spirit, all through the game, I'm watching the spirit trying to, you know, like, permeate through my son, then my other son, then my girls. And I was like, hmm. And then after that, when they started arguing back and forth, and my girls ain't really into football like that. And then my other son going back and forth with them, and then they get personal, and they arguing. I'm like, yo. I'm like, y'all getting mad over a game that none of y'all getting paid for, except for my oldest son. And the girls, I'm like, y'all ain't that. Why y'all taking this so seriously? Y'all just didn't want to have to go to school the next day. But what? And I was like, oh, nah. This can't be good. Then I happened to go on Instagram. And I see people posting, people getting mad. Old people, young people, whoever. Breaking up TVs, tearing up the house. Over a game? Over a football game? So, I just came on here to say, like, yo, like, we got to take inventory of what we're doing in this life where everything now is crazy. Like, we got to pay so much attention because these these entities and these spirits is out here really trying to jump on us to cause us to wild out. I recognize it. I experience it myself every day. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and the rules of the darkness of this present world and spiritual wickedness in high places. A lot of this stuff be rituals. A lot of this stuff be just not ordained by God. 
just the people in charge are evil. We don't serve the same God. So at the end of the day, yeah, you could be like, Dag, why y'all dragging it? It's just a Super Bowl performance. I understand all that. But we also got to understand the agenda behind a lot of the stuff that we watch on TV, a lot of the stuff that goes on. And to understand the energy that permeates through the screen. Through these different type of events. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to say God bless everybody. Listen, stay prayed up. You see they um, done shot down all these supposed to be spy balloons and all this other stuff. We don't know what's going on, but I know they shot some more down. And it is a distraction, so we need to pay attention. We need to pay attention to what's going on somehow, some way. Not for fear. But just to be aware of the times we're living in. Because we know that our father is at the door. And he's coming back for his people. And at the end of the day, we have to stay aware of what he's calling us into. You know, so. Yeah, but I just wanted to come and say that to you guys. I pray that you all have a blessed day. Continuing in Christ. Like, listen. Listen. We have to fall in line, and I feel like that's what God is doing. He's 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 helping us to fall in line and to His cause and His purpose that He has for us. So, with that said, y'all have a blessed day and um, a blessed rest of the week.